Welcome to another edition of Hiroyuki Terada, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Hiro, how are you? Good afternoon. <laughs> good very, afternoon. very good. <laughs> Excellent. Mm. We got a great recipe today. We've got a kind of a East meets South, mm. basically uh -huh. Asian, Asian and Mexican. Nacho. Yes. Asian nacho. Asian nacho. So let's show our viewers what the ingredients are. Okay. Uh, here's a tortilla seeds here. Uh, tuna. Okay. And uh, avocado. Right. Tomato. And the uh, scallion. Microgreen. And cilantro. Cilantro. Yes. And by the way, this is from corn, just in case you wanted to know. Not just flour, but corn tortilla. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's go. And these are ingredients you can basically find at your local supermarket. Of course, mm -hmm. not the yes. tuna. Not tuna. Probably some smoked salmon you can use instead of this really beautiful tuna. Okay, Hiro. So what's the first step? The first step, I'm going to fry up the tortilla. Okay. Uh, let's go uh, one, two, three, four. Five seat, five or six seat. And to open, let's go everything. Cut into, uh, we're going to cut into the quarter, so. Yeah. And cut to the half. Okay. okay. So, and then, I'm going to put it over. Fly. Okay. Okay, let's go. Make it rain, make it rain. Yeah, we can rain. <laughs> oh. Okay. So he's gonna peel them one by one and just yeah, so they don't stick yeah, together when they fry. They don't stick together, so. And doing it at home and just use a as wide as a pot that you have. Mm. Temperatures around three hundred and fifty degrees. Also also um and do uh, a few at a time so you don't so we're gonna we're using the tortilla seed. Also, you can make with the one ton skin too. One ton skin, one, yeah. One ton skin is good. Also, I, mean, I like a one ton skin too. If you have good. an Asian supermarket close to you, yes. they have those in the cooler mm -hmm. department. Yeah, and also they have also the, that's kind of one ton skin cracker or something. They already fried up. Okay. It, so maybe that's more convenient. Right. And the one ton skins are just straight flour. Right. These are made from yeah. corn. Okay, so you, you can see the uh, tortilla became the brown. So this is a lady, 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 so. So we're trying to make a healthy recipe, but this doesn't look that healthy, Hero. Yeah, it's a definitely <laughs> so. As much as you can put the oil that. Right. Okay, keep it this way. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's great. Mm -hmm. Next one, we're going to uh, cut the uh, tuna in dice cut and then avocado. Okay. Dice cut and then we toss with the sauces. Okay, very good. So I mentioned earlier, if you don't want to use smoked salmon from a grocery store, uh, we hope you didn't miss some of our videos that we took earlier. And they're from Catalina Offshore Products. You can get this product as well from them. Yeah. Fresh tuna, fresh whatever you want. And we'll put a link in the description box below if you want to order something from them. And plus you get a 10% off with a code that we're going to provide. But this color is just beautiful, huh? This tuna. Mm -hmm. okay, you don't get this from frozen tuna at all. Right. Okay, wow. Keep into the bowl here. Let's see how good this avocado is. Yeah, let's see. Looks, looks good. Looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Some avocado uh, easy to skin out, but some avocado are very difficult to have too, you know. So, like an uh, example, I'm gonna show you. The skin is not very really easy to come out. You can use the, the spoon. Okay. You just go for it. Right easy, one shot. 
so much much easier. Dice cut. Not really dice shape, but. Uh, Maybe half of this. If you say half of this, you're supposed to say, let's put it all. Put yeah, here, just put it all. <laughs> everything. <laughs> People like it, you know. Did you mm -hmm. listen to your comments? We read like, them. I read it. That's right. Yeah. And some of you have been asking who replies to the comments. Well, it's yeah. Hero sometimes, it's myself, yeah. but I do we have a moderator that's on that all mm -hmm. the time. So, if this is a technical question, Hero's going to jump in. Mm -hmm. So. Here, I'm surprised. You have so much time and you can even read the comments as well. I read the comment all day. I spend my day off. <laughs> Actually, my another account of the YouTube name is uh, Hiroterada Day Off. But anyway, day off. Most of the time, I mean, watching the YouTube. Yeah. You read the comments. That's yeah. the best part of the whole video. Recently, I got a 55-inch uh, smart TV. I'm very, very happy for that. All day, I watch the YouTube, YouTube video. Nice. You're a true millennial. <laughs> YouTube video. <laughs> Millennial, yeah, you're you're born in that. You're wow. in your twenties. You're the new twenties. Okay. Okay. Here is avocado and then tuna. Okay. Nice cut. And then add that a little bit. This is our homemade uh, sauces, the ginger. Sauces. Homemade ginger dressing, and we will be sharing this recipe with you all very soon. As well, some of the other sauces as well. We've been a lot of requests to make the spicy mayo, the eel sauce, the panzo. Oh, this is going to be included in that. And then you can actually, I'm going to use a little bit Sancho. Just peel the leaves off. Okay, I have a chopped up. Chopper cilantro, mix into Well, wow. I'll just take it like this without the chips. You know, Hero? Yes. You can do actually do. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so let's go to uh, decoration. First, first tortilla fry. Tortilla flight, set up on the plate. Use everything, right? Of course. <laughs> you will do. Okay. So then, I'm gonna put the mix avocado tuna. So this is a pretty big dish. This is uh, it's good for the maybe four person appetizer. Looks great. Let's take a look at this. All right, this is a huge plate. Yes. Looks great though, it looks so good. Oh, just, a, just a taste part that I need to call someone to help. So. <laughs> Wish we had some volunteers out there that could come by. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, tomato. And then the, our homemade spicy mayo. Okay. And do this in. Nice. Okay. And then I'll put a little bit of scallion. And the uh, micro green. Thanks. 
Rebatimo to metos, onda sai. Sraču, onda rebat sraču. Na top. Ok, that's it. Wow. It's a huge. Now, when you talked about this, I didn't expect anything that would turn out looking like this at all. This is amazing. Look at this. You at home could see this. It's got to be at least from the bottom of the bowl up to the top, at least what six, seven inches. Huge plate. Wow! And you know what? You could, you made that so easily too, Hero. <laughs> right? It's pretty a bit easy, easy recipe. Right. Yeah. You want to impress someone? This is what you do. Take this recipe and knock it out of the park. Well, Hero, thank you so much. <laughs> that was really, really thank nice. Can't wait to try it as well. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment below, share it, let us know how yours came out, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Now we have the best part of this recipe. Hero, tasting part. Uh, yes, tasting parts. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Tuna, avocado, tomato. All right, you got all the food groups there. Okay, let's go. So it's so crunchy, I can hear it from all the way here. Well, yeah, it's very crunchy. Yeah. Mm. How's it? I have a thinking what, what to say. I want to say very good, so. <laughs> tasty. Tasty. <laughs> yes, very tasty. Very good. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to get myself on some of these as well, so. But it uh, looks great. Hope you guys can try this at home. Hero, thank you so much. Mm, thank you very much. See you soon.